Hello and welcome to another episode of Shed Manufacturing. On today's episode, we'll be messing around with Project E30. Um, since you've last seen the car, we finished up the wiring, uh, got it running, got it on the dyno, made some power poles, uh, and got it fully tuned and ready to go. And it's just sort of been running and driving as a regular car. It's been a, an absolute hoot. Um, but what the extra power has brought to light is something that's always sort of bothered me, but now is actually a little frightening. Uh, the steering on old E30s was a fairly slow ratio, meaning that it takes a lot of turns of the wheel to get the wheels from one side of the lock all the way to the other side of the lock. Um, which now that there's a lot of extra power, the back end likes to step out quite quickly, and it means that catching that slide means a lot more hand movement, and you can quickly get to the edge of a single hand uh, before you have to start throwing the wheel, letting go, and doing more of a, a drift hand operation, which I'm not very good at. So uh, here we have a Z3 steering rack um, and a garagistic uh, rag joint replacement and the garagistic Z3 rack conversion spaces. So what we'll be doing is we'll be pulling the rack out of this, uh, pulling the uh, steering shaft out, modifying the steering shaft, getting everything back together and getting it ready to go.
So I've had about a month with the new steering rack completely in and totally squared away. Um, and the difference is pretty stark. It's fantastic. Uh, the initial turn in is much more crisp. I feel like small uh, movements that I make with my hands uh, have more of an effect on where the car is headed. Um, catching a uh, little snap oversteers is much quicker and easier, uh, which makes driving the car a little harder, much less daunting because you don't feel like it's gonna get away from you. So this car does have a power steering delete and it does increase the steering effort that you have to put in, like parking lots, not ideal. Um, I may get an electric power steering system for this, um, which is sort of backwards for taking the power, like the hydraulic off and then adding the electric. But I've always hated hydraulic power steering. It's parasitic the entire time you're driving and it leaks and pretty much all the OEMs have converted to electric power steering and you can adjust the amount of gain that you get uh, with a knob. So you can sort of have a, like a city and a country setting, which I would quite like. Other than that, I've got no real notes for it. I may go for a slightly bigger steering wheel before I um, add power steering to it. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't find a Momo Prototipo any larger than the 380. Or no, the 350. I want to go to the 380. But other than that, thanks for following along. Uh, this has been one of my top 10 mods to this car.